All right, Fishaholics, welcome back to another video. We're in Fort Pierce today, and we're going to try and do some surf fishing. We're going to start at the inlet here. Looks like we got a really hard outgoing tide, which uh, hopefully will be a good thing. And I'm not really sure where we're going to end up. We might end up hitting the beach and doing some surf fishing there. But uh, we've been doing a lot of kayaking, and I'm kind of tired and a little sore. So uh, we wanted to change it up for today. And uh, I already rigged up a larger rod for throwing bigger plugs, top water, bigger jerk baits, and stuff like that for maybe, say, big jacks or whatever is willing to bite. And then also I've got a lighter inshore setup rigged up for possibly some snook that we could maybe find along the rocks. So uh, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to throw on the corkers, start working the inlet first, and uh, see what we can find. Let's do it. All right, so these conditions are looking pretty nice. It's overcast and we had quite a bit of rain yesterday and last night. So the water looks a little murked up, but hopefully that doesn't make a difference. And uh, I just saw some little fish popping on some little bait along the rocks back here. Not really what we're after probably, it could just be ladyfish, but uh, we're gonna start with the top water here. Just cover some water along the rocks, see if anything big is around, looking for an easy snack. Check my drag. I'm hoping realistically with a big top water like this, there'll be some big jacks swimming around looking for something big to eat. Hmm. A lot of like little, what I would call like rain bait sitting along the rocks. So last year I remember seeing some really big jacks in here and also some really nice snook and it seemed like they really like to hold right along the rocks so I'm more or less going to be just covering this structure and of course if we see some fish blowing up out there in the channel then we'll take a few casts but so far I haven't really seen any signs of fish or bait except for right along the rocks today there's just a lot of that rain bait. Wow, this thing pushes a ton of water. It's my first time using it, so I'll be excited when we finally get a blow up on it. But uh, I think we're gonna put it down for a few minutes and uh, we're gonna try for snook along here with a soft plastic. All right, let's see if they want a Fishaholic Finback Shad on a three quarter ounce jig head. Trying to get it all the way down to the bottom. And we're just gonna swim it on back. There's a fish. Woo! That was quick. Like five or six casts later. Snook crushed it right along the rocks. That's where they hang, sitting right in the structure. Woo! That was such a freaking awesome thump too. Heck yeah, boys. What a beautiful light colored snooky. They get this color when uh, the water's a little off colored. Oh, he chokes the fishaholic fin back. Heck yeah, and there we go. <laughs> Not the most graceful release, but uh, pretty much flopped right into the water. All right, now let's see if we can get another one. All I did there really is just cast it up tied a little bit. 
let it sink all the way down to the bottom. It takes about like 15 seconds. And I'm only using 10 pound test Green Moss Power Pro braid. So it, there's a very little like line resistance and it gets down to the bottom really nice and quick on just a three quarter ounce Fishaholic jig head. And once it's on the bottom, I just pop it up, let it fall back down. There's a fish, boom. That didn't take long. I don't know if this is a snooky, something else. But what's great about this bait is it swims on the retrieve and as well as on the fall. So it's got action no matter which way you look at it. Oh, little jack. This is what we were looking for on top water, but uh, about like 20 times the size. <laughs> That'd be good Goliath bait. Sweet. All right, that's uh, not common where you make two casts back to back and catch two fish. It's pretty sweet. Dang. Oh, popped it off. Heck yeah. Sometimes when you're snagging on a rock underwater and uh, you're using like a jig head like this, if you just like lighten it up like as quick as possible, the weight will actually of the jig head will actually back the hook out and then you can pull it free. Crushed it on the drop, geez. Woo! This is something pretty nice. Oh, oh stay on there. Whew. I hope this is a snook. He's staying down deep though, might be a jack. Oh, totally unexpected. Oh, some type of snapper. <laughs> this is sweet. <laughs> Believe like a mutton maybe? Look at that gorgeous fish. Heck yeah. First one that I've caught out of this inlet. Oh gosh, oh, that was quick. <laughs> but uh, first one the Fishaholic Finback Shad has caught too. That was so sick. Whew. All right, so we're back in the truck. It's been about like 45 minutes to an hour since we caught that mutton and uh, not a whole lot's going on. So we're gonna drop off our lighter action rod. And I think we're just gonna stick with the bigger stick and go hit the beach or like near the mouth of the inlet and then maybe come back later with the lighter rod and uh, try and do what we just did because it was productive but maybe at a later time in the tide um, we'll catch some more and uh, it's about quarter to three so we've been here for quite some time we got here like 12 and uh, we also need to hydrate because it's whew, really hot and then uh, we'll hit, hit the beach hit the mouth of the inlet and see if we can catch some more fish bigger fish hopefully Oh yeah, it tastes so good. All right, let's try the top water again for a little bit and then maybe switch to something else if you don't see any activity. All right, let's try a little bomber long shot now. That was a close one. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Feel like I'm back in Montauk. Hell yeah. <laughs> so we're probably not gonna try this very long unless we start seeing some surface activity or at least get a bite. But I'm um, trying to think what should we switch to next? I, I don't really think these conditions call for throwing a top water. It's a lot of current. You know, there's probably jacks here, but they could be down deep. Like that little one we caught was pretty close to the bottom. I might have a diamond jig I could throw on and just kind of jig it along the, the structure. Oh, there he is. Nah, just kidding. We're on the bottom. Damn it. Oh, had to break it. Felt like it was about to come free too. 
All right, back in action with another jig. We're gonna take probably like another half a dozen, dozen casts, and then we're gonna make a move either to the beach or uh, back up inside. No, nah, man, really? Oh. Shouldn't have let it touch the bottom. Jeez, we're gonna try and get up current from it and pull it out. Wow, broke it off again. We're gonna change our game plan, we're making a move. All right, well, it's been a couple fishless hours and now it's like five o'clock. So we're kind of back to the drawing board, doing what we did before, which caught some fish. And uh, we did fish the ocean surf. We actually went even further up inside and fished like an intercoastal spot. And uh, haven't had a bite since uh, we caught our last few fish. So we're back to the drawing board and gonna see if uh, we can catch a few more as it starts to get a little bit later in the day. Realistically, I'm just hoping for a couple more snook. And this tide is really slowing up, actually. It's probably really close to, oh God, low tide. All right, Fishaholics. Well, I think that's about it. We're about to lose the filmable daylight. And unfortunately and unbelievably, we didn't get one single bite this evening. I, I really can't believe that. Uh, you know, we fished it so hard up and down this jetty and uh, possibly maybe the snook are in like transition from like daytime feeding into nighttime feeding and also this tide really just started moving in nicely so um you know this may be the end of the video but uh, i don't think it's going to be the end of the fishing i'm going to give it like another 30 40 minutes maybe an hour um who am i kidding probably two hours until <laughs> to see just see if i can catch another fish and uh, of course i'll you know show some clips at the end of this video if i do catch anything otherwise um, i'm just going to close it out here hope you guys enjoyed i'll put all my tackle and equipment down below and uh, please give the video a big fat like if you enjoyed and subscribe to keep up to date with vids and like always never forget live to fish fish to live